Greetings, today I want to respond to an absolutely ridiculous commercial I saw from Gillette. So I'll play some clips for you first and foremost and then I'll respond. Boom. What I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. In ways big, but some, is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. First and foremost, hombre, they're playing with each other. That's absolutely fine to treat each other that way. And if you listen to his voice, hardly the voice of authority that anyone will uh, listen to. Boys must play with each other. Boys must wrestle to each other. You can look upon any mammal species. The cubs, the children, the boys, they do wrestle with each other because that is part of a healthy upbringing. If boys do not wrestle with each other, if someone comes and breaks them up, they will not develop as proper human beings. They will develop as something else. So interfering in the upbringing in boys in that sort of way. Sure, you can have mothers trying to do that, and then it's the father's responsibility to say to his beloved wife, you know what, this is how boys act. Boys will be boys, and that is completely fine. So do not interfere here, because this is part of their upbringing. That is what a true father, a true man will do. He will enable boys to have a solid, good upbringing, which always entails competition against other boys. Otherwise, they will not go ahead in life with a positive attitude then they will become weak victims and we don't like those because they are always the ones who are causing trouble later on. And if you look upon these guys who act creepy towards women, and let me be clear, I'm all for capturing these guys who act creepy towards women. I'm all for capturing them to in order to perform scientific research upon them because they're not men. I've said to you, over all these years that you should treat women with respect, you should be polite to them. Being creepy towards a woman is a symptom of the modern world. That is because men have been feminized. That is not a man who is brought up with a true masculine role model. He will not act creepy towards women. That is what the feminists have turned men into. So if you look upon the Me Too movement, yet again, who were the accused? Yeah, mostly male feminists. So you see, the guys who are creepy towards women are the guys who have not been able to wrestle with other boys when they were growing up. So when I say it's a symptom of the modern world, what do I mean? Yeah, look at how men were a hundred years ago. Rampant toxic masculinity, but they were all gentlemen. If you look upon the men of the older generations, they are gentlemen, they do treat women with respect, and they are just full of toxic, toxic masculinity. So if you want men who do not come with sly, creepy sexual remarks towards women, yeah, those are the guys who are now being called toxic masculinity. So you have to choose, what do you want? Do you want feminized, overly sexualized men who are going around being creeps, or do you want real men who have had good masculine role models? and who are toxic in their masculinity. You can choose yourself. Now also, last thing in the scene where the guy is breaking up the guys chasing the, the bully victim. Absolutely the wrong way to go about it. There's only one way to stop bullies and that is fist to the face. He has to clench his fist, throw it as hard as possible in the aggressor's face because boys will test the limits of other boys, see how far can they go and eventually there must come a limit and there is only the bully victim who can set that limit. An older person cannot do that because they will only come after him harder the next day because he has still not set that limit. So the guy, he's not doing the poor victim any service. He should have done this. Guys, just rest for a moment, now you have to fight with each other. So the bully victim must have the fight. Violence always solves this sort of thing. Yet again, this is a female lie when women say, oh, violence never solves anything. Absolute lie. Violence solves bullying. A bully victim must always fight back. So this guy, this low energy, low testosterone, low thumos guy who breaks this up, he 
has done something horrendously wrong. He must talk to the guy and say, you know what, fight back next time. The reason they are bullying him is that he is letting himself be bullied. The reason they are chasing him is that he is running. If he hadn't been running, they would probably not chase him. So, to conclude, we must capture all guys who act creepy towards women and we must perform scientific experiments on them for the cause of the great enlightenment. I think that's reasonable. Obviously also all women who have falsely accused guys, they need their just punishment as well. And then lastly, boys will be boys. Yes, that is perfectly fine that they should be boys because if you feminize boys, you will end up with creepy, sex addict, uh, horrendous people. Simple as that. XXO. Boom.